Thanks to Captain Comics from Canada, we have Weird Magazine, Volume 9, Number 4, from 1976, October. I had this when I was a kid, been searching for it, trying to get it for about 15, 20 years, and I finally have reacquired it. It's in fairly good shape, too. You know, Captain Comics put it, uh, packaged it correctly and sent it correctly and everything like that. Uh, a little history on uh, Erie Publications and Weird Magazine. Uh, they closed their doors in 1983, I think. Yeah. And uh, they, were, they published Erie, Weird, uh, Witches, Tales, things like that. I mean, these magazines, no one would touch. Because it was very horrific as far as the, the, the drawings are concerned. And uh, it was just awful. I mean, not as far as artwork, but it was just nasty stories. Uh, you can see the Comics Code Authority is not on any of them. Um, but um, to collect these, if you like uh, the horror genre, they're probably for you. Uh, but I had this when I was a kid. And... Uh, Got it back. Uh, the other thing about uh, Weird Magazine is that uh, the painted covers were done to chill you to the bone. And this one in particular is all reprints. Uh, so they're found in other uh, weird magazines or terror, horror tales and stuff like that. So it's all reprints here. Uh, I didn't realize that until I found it out on the internet, but uh, uh, it's good. It's really cool to have this back because uh, I've been I had this when I was a kid, as I've said before, and I finally got it back and put it into my collection. Uh, maybe later on I'll get the uh, the reference issues that are reprinted here in this particular magazine. Thanks for watching, and if you want this issue which is very hard to come by. Don't buy it yourself. <laughs>